Handling chemical safety. Many cleaning products, including bleaches, metal cleaners, graffiti removers, hard surface cleaners and toilet cleaners, are hazardous to your health. While that sounds dangerous, avoiding illness and injury is simple if you stay informed and aware. General safety precautions. The manufacturer's label and safety data sheet, SDS, for each chemical you handle provide important information regarding hazards, the use of personal protective equipment, PP, proper handling, transport, and storage and disposal. Each time you use a chemical, read this information and take the appropriate precautions. In addition, the following basic recommendations apply. Wear the appropriate PPE when handling chemicals. The two most common ways that chemicals enter the body are through the skin and through breathing and fumes. PPE such as gloves, coveralls and respirators are designed to protect you. Use the least hazardous chemical option for the task and prepare only the amount necessary for completing the job. Never eat, drink, smoke or apply cosmetics while working with chemicals. Make sure that the equipment used to apply chemicals is in good working order and does not have any leaks. Ensure proper ventilation in the area where you will be using the chemical. Do not store chemicals in unlabeled containers or those that previously held food, drink or other chemicals. Unexpected chemical reactions that release potentially toxic fumes can result. Wash thoroughly after using chemicals and before eating, drinking, smoking, or using the restroom. Exposure. Exposure to cleaning products usually occurs from breathing in vapors or mists, or by skin or eye contact. The most common side effect is irritation, pain, and inflammation of the skin, eyes, or respiratory tract. The severity of the irritation depends on the type of chemical used, how the chemical was being used, how the chemical came in contact with the body. If a coworker is exposed to a toxic chemical, consult the SDS and the product label before taking action. The correct response to exposure is as important as immediate action. The best first aid for skin or eye contact is to wash the affected area with water for at least 10 minutes. For inhalation exposures, move the person to an area of fresh air. The person should seek medical attention if symptoms persist. When to call for help. If the injured or ill person is having trouble breathing, is having convulsions, or is unconscious, provide the necessary first aid and call 911.